Now, if you're talking about your car or anything else, really, the last thing you want to see on it is rust. But for one artist, the sight of rust actually brings inspiration. Don Baker is here to explain what I'm talking about. Don, we were talking about uh, this beautiful art form that you do, and you kind of simplified it for me. What is, what is this art form? It's uh, basically using steel on canvas, and uh, it's steel that has to be cleaned all the way down to the very fine finish. And then it's placed on canvas, and it needs to be kept moist, wet, for approximately four to five uh, weeks. Wow. And then it is removed, and hopefully we have a nice rust print um, that uh, is the product. And I, I know you've brought some of these beautiful pieces with you. How did you get involved uh, with these type of uh, pieces of art? Uh, it was just a, a, something that I, I left uh, the uh, west coast, went, I went to New York. We rented a little cottage uh, in uh, uh, Croton on the Hudson. And I was, as I was digging through uh, some uh, buried metal, yeah. I found that it was all rusted. And I happened to lift, uh, lift up a license plate that was on a uh, two by eight piece of wood. And I was amazed at the print, the accuracy. And that really got me kind of excited about maybe trying it on different other substrates. Wow, so you kind of almost stumbled upon this by it, accident. It just, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. And then it, and then it turns into these beautiful uh, pieces that we're looking at. How long is the process to get it to where we're looking at the final piece? It, uh, the rusting process takes uh, usually for each, uh, one, one important thing, everything that I use, I have to break down, whether it's a tricycle, mm -hmm. bicycle, uh, uh, the car, I yeah. have to take it down completely, every piece uh, singled out. <clears throat> and then uh, it uh, takes uh, time to uh, clean all of these pieces because there's sometimes paint on them yeah. or they've been rusted already. You still have to uh, clean it and yeah. burnish it down all the way to the bare metal. Before we can even even start the process. That's right. And the pictures that you have here, are these pictures of some of the things that you've taken? Uh, I have a picture of, this is the largest piece I have and it's a uh, VW oh. uh, car and it's 12 feet by 6 feet and uh, <clears throat> that I have yeah, some pictures. Go ahead that, uh, and uh, bring that up. Let's take a look at it. Uh, this is uh, the car as I got it. Okay. Uh, a, a lady forgot to put uh, oil in it, and mm -hmm. it blew the engine. So I'm only interested in the car. Okay. And <clears throat> here I've rented a acetylene torch, and I'm carving it up piece by piece. Wow. And <clears throat> this one I had to climb up on the roof. These are all the pieces on the driveway. So I can determine the size of my canvas, my and it took 12 feet. And is this the final? And this is uh, pretty much the final wow. rusted vehicle and on that came, one canvas. And we saw it through through the process. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, are the what we're seeing in front of us here on the table? Are these the different, uh, almost like canvases that we can and put put them on? Yeah, this was uh, basically the uh, the procedure on how. How, uh, how this is started, okay. and how it's uh, done. Usually it's a, I work with redwood, okay. and this is a small example of it, but uh, on the car, I, I work with redwood uh, fencing. I have to build it oh, the I'm size sure. of the car yeah. uh, before I can lay down my canvas over it. Yeah. So this is the first uh, thing, is the redwood. Yep. And then <clears throat> there is a foam pad that goes on top of it. It has a little bit of pressure, so it sinks down right. in. I have a piece of plastic that goes over it and that holds the water and then next is the well then I lay my canvas over it and then and then we start and that that is the and that's the how we end that, up there that's I let down then I take it up and that's my print and that's your print Don, mm -hmm. before we run out of time I know you're at uh, the imminent domain right now and people can yes. go and see you mm -hmm. it, okay, um, from your website will we be able to see where you're going from there where your pieces will be going uh, I, the only thing that will be coming up is another, uh, I'm working on other things. Okay. And uh, I'll be going to uh, New Mexico for another exhibition, but that'll be after. 
after, after this, this one. of yes. course. Well, I'm going to remind everybody how they can come see you locally and, of course, how to keep up with where you're going later. So thank you so much okay. for showing us this process. It was so beautiful. All right. I'm, I enjoyed being here. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. To make All an right. appointment for the gallery, you can call 241-9726. And for more details, visit bakerrust.com.